I got five terrorists going down Bakalaka Daka Street. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is No Handlebars here, bringing you some team deathmatch. Gonna be rolling with one of my best friends, PI Staker, and can't be rolling with PI Staker without rapid fire and range. <laughs> Let's see who gets that one. But anyway, playing on Bakalaka Daka Street, some more team deathmatch, and this is one of the best maps in the game. And by best maps in the game, I mean worst map in the game. And by worst map in the game, I mean I really don't care. And to make myself look like an MLG professional in my commentary, I'm going to chuck a spawn grenade just like everybody else does, but my grenade's aimed absolutely nowhere. Just trying to make myself look cool. And see this guy head glitching behind this exploding vehicle? That's, that's no match for P.I. Staker. That man, P.I. Staker, has accuracy, precision, and range. And some very weak kidneys, so it's very nice to run with Scavenger Pro when you're running with P.I. Staker. So... Also, another thing you gotta note is that I'm running with Assassin. This will probably be my last game with Assassin. Um, I'm not liking Assassin that much. I feel like more and more of a hypocrite every time I use it, but... Uh, this is one of the earlier games that I played, so... Eh, rest assured, I won't be using it anymore. And you can see here, the wise thing to do when you see Type 95s in the kill feed is to run into the center of the map, because that's totally how you can get more 1v1 duels. <clears throat> Sarcasm. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm running through this area of the map I like to call the Triple Intersection, because it... Sex Triple... Inters? Or something. Three different paths go through it. Uh, see, mis see myself going prone here. I don't do that too often. It's AKA the drop shot. I don't like to do that. It's limited to a few times per match. Now, you've heard of the phrase balls deep, but yeah, uh, I'm not allowed to do that too much. Now you can see that that guy had the Type 95. I was contemplating picking it up, but I'm not going to because it's on my ban list. It's one of currently two guns that's on my ban list. The other being the Akimbo FMGs, which I'm sure you guys already knew by now. But it's fine if you use those guns and you. If, you just gotta be proud to use those guns as all. If you're a hipster, you're there, we don't care, get used to it. You know, all that, you know, whatever. Yada yada. But, you can see me running around the map very blindly. I do not play this game that often, so it may look like I actually have some hidden motive. I'm just honestly just running around blindly, trying to find people to 1v1 duel. Can't really find anybody, because I don't know anything about this map. I play this game, like, a couple times a week, maybe? You know, because, you know, it's schooling season. And, on a side note, when you see a red dot, the obvious move is to run towards it, but Chris Angel is trying to freak me out with his mind and have a floating right shield there to distract me. I'm not going to fall for that crap. And anyway, get my Predator Missile here. Now, I have two options. I can go for the easy target, or I can go for the hard target. Hard target. You don't understand. I have to. I, I have to. And, unfortunately, don't take him out. But it's okay, because the easy target gets killed anyway, so it's a lose-lose scenario. Wait. Wow, that sucks. Nah, but anyway, gonna run by this excellently placed IMS. <clears throat> Sarcasm. <clears throat> also gonna run here to check out the stairway to nowhere. Why the hell is that even there? What? Whatever. I'm a few kills away from the Reaper, and here lies the problem. I tend to die a lot one away from the Reaper, but it doesn't matter because this is an uploadable game, so obviously I'd get the Reaper. Two kills away now. See this guy head glitching, but I have to duel him. I can't stall. And as I kill him, I get killed one away from the Reaper. Uh, that's okay, because I'm used to it by now. <laughs> uh, I was so upset during that game. You can't hear me venting and yelling. And uh, It's funny, because like I don't rage, but I'm like I'm like upset while being amused at the same time. It's really weird. Like, I guess it's just like I'm being amused at the fact that I always die one away somehow. Well, it's it's kind of interesting, actually. I should do some more of those uh, live commentaries so you guys can see it. But I have to take out this guy because and teabag him because he's actually taking out my teammates. I can't allow that. Give him some vitamin bag. And someone else takes out my teammate, so I'm just kind of waiting for him to naturally run through the door. There he is! I can't let you escape with this injustice because... Oh. Never mind. And uh, to top it off, he actually gets type 95, so I'm not sure if that's just karma for him using type 95. I don't know. But... Yeah, the more and more I play this game, the more and more I see type 95, so... Uh, I don't know what to think anymore. Should I not use type 95, or should I be a hypocrite and completely use it and use it to compete? Nah, I have morals. I am uncorruptible. I am like the Batman. You will... I will never... Where the hell am I even going? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go to this building here that I never knew existed until I was one away from a Reaper. I didn't even realize there was actually a staircase that went up this way. And it led me to a secret scavenger bag, which I'm not even picking up. But now I see my teammate get taken out. Can't allow that injustice to go unscathed. Now, there's another staircase in this building, but that leads absolutely nowhere. I've been there once. It's pretty cool in survival mode. <laughs> but we're gonna run around in circles nonetheless. To, to indicate that that's the building that leads absolutely nowhere. Oh, and he catches me with my pants down, but P.I. Staker is excellent with his pants down. <laughs> uh, if you guys haven't gotten that by now, oh, shame on you guys, man. Come on, P.I. Staker. Jeez. Whatever. So, one away from the Predator Missile, I'm actually able to get it, but something tells me I shouldn't call it in here. I should run over here to cover. Stairway to nowhere is actually the stairway to death. 
Oh, I'll go Type 95. It's, it's funny because people see Type 95 like, oh, Type 95, oh my god. But it doesn't really matter what gun he had. He was in the right place at the right time. I probably would have died regardless, but... Uh, nonetheless, I got my Predator Missile. Totally have to go for this guy in the building. You don't understand. I have to. Wow, I actually got the guy. Sweet. All right, well, that, that's going to raise my momentum quite a bit. No wonder I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Yeah, trying to keep the action fast-paced. When you get momentum like that, you got to take advantage of your momentum streak. You must run. You must try to kill things, especially gold-type 95 guys. And if, if preferable, teabag them. But you don't have to because um, teabagging is not that cool unless you're, um, you work at Trader Joe's or something. You know, paper or plastic. But anyway... Contemplating picking up the Type 95, but I don't think I should. That's, I'm like, nah, I, I, I can't. I, I can't. You don't understand. I, I can't. But still, Noclips is actually staring something over in the corner. I'm like, all right, don't worry, man. I'm Johnny Quest. I'll go explore this. I'll take it out. That red die, it's, just, it's not moving from that corner. I'm really confused. I'm like, if he's AFK, I can't duel him. It's really dishonorable to duel AFK people. But maybe if I stall long enough, my friends can come over here and Claymore the guy. We can have like one of those epic Claymore things, but I can't duel him until he moves. And oh my god, he's moving! Oh my god, no! Oh, oh, how embarrassing is that? Oh, man. How dare he take advantage of a loophole in my honor system? Ah. If you go AFK during a fight, you will probably beat me. I can't kill you. It's, it's sad. Ah, curse me and my morals. Ah, uh, suck, brick kid. Uh, whatever. Now, what's, what's this guy doing in here? Look at that. Yeah, you're there. I care. I'm not gonna get used to that. But yeah, I, I I made someone suck brick up here, but I didn't get any hit markers, which is surprising because there's actually two of them up there watching the staircase. Ah, that's okay. Totally gonna go back. Um, <clears throat> suck brick kid. This time with feeling. Stuck. Dead. Exactly. Exactly, but there's one more. I know he's here, and I'm gonna have an epic retard fight! Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I have a knifing power of approximately three. Whereas Dillonoclips has a knifing power of 9,001, which is over 9,000! Crush the scanner, ah! But, you know, yeah, still. That's why he calls himself Dillonoclips, man, because his power's over 9,000. You have to be one arrogant jerk to call yourself Dillonoclips and not be backing it up. Man, I should totally call myself like Handlebar Ocalypse or something like that. Or something crazy like look at, man, look at this guy over here, man. I cannot run away from you. You you don't understand. I just because I'm losing, I can't. I I have to. You don't understand. I, I have to. I have to run back up there and just burst off. I actually killed a guy. Well, that was interesting. He could have moved himself up and probably won that fight, but man, look at that guy hiding down there. Look, I, I wish I had a Claymore. Oh man. Oh, dang it. The, where's the claymore when you need them? Oh wait, you don't unlock them right away. That's disappointing. Oh wait, I'm level 61. I have claymores already. Oh man, that's dis that's disappointing. I'm putting on claymores from now on. Those types of kills come by every so often, but it's very difficult to get them because you probably get killed when you claymore the guy. But I get my predator missile, and I think it'll be suiting to say that I am no handlebars, and I will guide this missile by satellite to the difficult target who happens to spawn next to his teammate and get gets me the d -d double kill. For the game winner, it's funny because my name is P.I. Staker, and I made that bread very soggy. Aha! Aha! Because his name is Soggy Bread. Oh, P.I. Staker, guys, come on. Seriously, P.I. Staker, C combine the letters together. Come on. I uh, whatever, I'm, I'm not even going to do it. Whatever. That's the game, guys. Final score, 25-5. No intense kill streaks, but still a good game nonetheless. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Handlebars, signing out. Adios.